This video is brought to you by the generous donations from viewers like you. Hi, this is Cricket Song with Winter Wisdom, and today's video is going to be discussing magic, intention, power, and will. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because within conversations that I've been having with individuals in emails and messages, there's been some confusion as to what I mean by these words. And sometimes people use these words interchangeably. And for me, they are very different concepts. So in recording this video, I'll have it on my channel and I can just point people in this direction so they can understand what I mean when I use these words. Okay, so let's begin with the idea of magic. So magic, I happen to really resonate with Aleister Crowley's definition of magic. And magic is affecting change in a future or in an individual's reality, using their, in their will to create this change. So, you know, it's the art of manipulating will, energy, desire to create a change within someone or within that individual's environment. So it's a process. Well, I guess it's not a process. It's, yeah, I guess it is a process. It is um, what you use to make the change. It's the art. It's the science, okay? Now, when we are using magic when we're using this process, we have an intention. So say we wanna craft a spell, we're going to use magic. And this spell will have an intention or the purpose. It is a focus, it is a, um, you know, the end result, what we want to see manifest. And then we would need power to make this happen. So power is the energy that propels the spell forward towards the intention. It's, it's that energy. And you can use power that is channeled either from within you or from your environment. Okay, so there's different places that you can pull the power from in order to propel your intention forward towards manifestation. So then will, what is will? Well, will is the desire. It's the emotional element of the spell. So when we look at this, if say, for example, I was going to craft a spell for prosperity or wealth. So my, I'm going to use magic. I'm going to use this art. And the intention is wealth is to have money. The energy or the power is going to, I'm going to pull it from the earth. I'm going to use earth power. So I'm going to channel energy from the earth through me, but I'm also going to add my desire because I really want this prosperity. That is my desire, my personal desire. And I am going to take the power that I've pulled from the earth mix it with my own energy, my own in my own desire and send it forth towards the intention to manifest the spell. Now, if we think of it in this way, it's important to know that if you don't have, or it's at least my belief that if you don't have the will, then you, and you only have the intention and you're pulling the power from the earth, then you're not invested in this and the spell would not manifest. Now you can have the intention and the will, but you don't have the power, then again, the spell will not manifest. If you have power and will, but no clear intention, then the spell would not manifest. These things are necessary when utilizing magic to manifest something within your life. I hope this made it clearer uh, I know I kind of stumbled upon some words. Hopefully um, my message was clear. If you have any questions regarding 
you know, magic or intention or power or will, please feel free to uh, leave the comment in the comments or send me a message. And as always, I love you. Mwah. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it with others on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way you won't miss any of my newly uploaded videos. And be sure you've connected with me on Facebook, either through my Cricket Song fan page, Lunar Wisdom business page, or by joining the Sacred Circle.